Hey up. I've been invited to come and uh, have a look at these pre-changes for Maltby Football Club before the season starts. Uh, it's had some ground changes uh, and they've had a, a, a club, well, a bar, a bar put up. So I'm, I've, uh, I've arranged to meet uh, the, the club secretary uh, and he's going to uh, answer me some questions, and I'm a, I'm a bit uh, I'm a bit nervous if I must admit, because I don't know. Uh, I mean I'm no professional at this as you know, but uh, let's see let's see what it looks like. So I've just popped my car up. Uh, I'm going to turn you around, and let, let me just uh, I've not seen the changes yet. So, this is the car park as you drive in with those, you can see them gates up there, look. So you drive in, this car, this car park holds about 30 cars uh, and it's still gravelly and this has not changed. So, but the, the changes are inside. Now, it's the same entrance uh, and I'll just say, when you used to walk in, there was, uh, you just walked in uh, and you just veered to your left. Now, this brown thing here, this is new uh, and we're going in now. So let's, uh, let's see what it's, uh, let's see what it's offering. So all this seating area here is new. That's the that's the club shop, and this is the new cafe and bar. It's still under progress, look. I'm going to walk pitch side now. So this is a pitch. It's for them who don't know. It used to have a a large depression in the middle, and you can see where the where it's been filled in. You can see where it's been filled in there. Look, it's not all been filled in, but. It's a lot better. And this goal mouth here, this was really, really badly worn. And that's been filled in too. Stands have been, uh, they've, they've had a new paint job. They're all black now. And it's having all this yellow, yellow fencing put round, all the way around. I think it, it, it's, it's going to be a massive improvement. It's going to look a lot better. So we'll go and uh, we'll go meet the club secretary then, uh, and put some uh, some questions towards him. So Lee, uh, thanks for inviting me here to Pleasure. do some pre-season viewing of. Uh, your club. Uh, I say your club is because uh, according to the NCL website uh, which Malt be playing is the North East Northern Counties East League. There you go. Division one. Division one. Yeah. Well last year you were the Premier, Premier Premier. Premier. Yeah. Yep. Not the best season. We ended up uh, relegated unfortunately but Yeah. Is what it is. We're still here, we're back. So, uh, if if you don't mind answering a few questions, then Lee. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, go for it. So, Lee, at this level now, uh, what Northern Counties East League? I must have said that. Yeah, it's, you're right there. It's a bit of a mouthful. That. <laughs> uh, would any uh, are these players well known? Um, anybody not? Do, do they are they and 
what I'm trying to say is, are the ex-professionals or would... A lot of lads have had links to professional clubs and that come through like professional academies. Yeah. Um, we've got one lad that spent several years at Manchester United, for example, coming in this for this season. Um, so probably not so much on the professional appearances, but they've got links to those clubs. Um, what you will find is uh, Northern Counties, it's step six of the National League pyramid, uh, well, step five and six, Premier League and Division One. So we're effectively nine promotions away from the Premier League which is obviously not, not really going to happen. Um, but the players that you'll tend to get at this level are former pros that want to want to keep playing, or young lads that are hungry to try and to, to try and have a go. Um, so that that's that's generally what you'll see. So names wise, um, with a lad that plays for us is Mackenzie Warren, who some some people Rotherham fans might know the name Warren. Paul Warren, former Rotherham manager, is his dad. So you know, th there are some links to the professional game, definitely. Uh, and he played last season. He you. did. He did. Yeah, he was. Yep, he, was, yeah, he was a good lad for us last season, and he's uh, he's back to do it again for us. Because you've you did get relegated. I mean, it must have been a, a bad. It were a bad season, weren't it? it was to be a, fair, it was a terrible uh, season. But uh, not to apportion any blame. But did any uh, any players leave because of the drop down? Um, I. Because I know Mackenzie Warren stayed, he has stayed, hasn't he? Yeah, so so we've got Mac Warren who stayed from last season uh, and uh, Levi Owen, the, uh, the the goalkeeper the goalkeeper that spent a lot of last season with us, he's back as well. Um, but most of the players from last season have, have moved on. Um, they're not contracted at, at, at this level, so everybody get, you know, you'll find that players rotate in and out throughout the season. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's pretty rare that you'll keep the same squad together year on year anyway. Um, but you know, a lot of the players that we had back in the last season, be it no interest from our side to keep them, or they didn't want to come back here and play in the step below. They wanted to try and get you know slots back still in the Premier League. That that's where we are. Yeah. So I've just had a quick look round, uh, and I just said on my VT. Uh, about the ground improvement. So, yep. what's actually been, what what what's what's been going off <sighs> in the close season? Yeah, so I it's... can see a lot's been going off. But for for them who's never visited, are uh, are the the ones who's ready to come in to watch the upcoming season? Yeah. What will what? they're going to expect to find? It, well, it's, it's been a mad busy uh, off-season for us. I mean, if you're just looking around here, um, the dugouts used to be one over yonder uh, and one over there. Now they've been relocated to the far side of the pitch so that people sat on this stand um, can have a clear view of everything because yeah, they used to be not, a bit of an it, obstruction. Uh, yeah, it was a little obscured, weren't it? Yep. Um, when I come to watch, I always do sit in here uh, and... Yeah, it were uh, obstruct, yeah. Uh, obstructed a little, especially when there were, uh, you know, well, some go mouth incidents. Yeah, if you sat it wrong place on stand, you just couldn't you, you see You just couldn't see him, yeah. that's correct. So, so, so we, we took that feedback and we've relocated dugouts over there. You wouldn't believe how heavy they are either. They took like eight rugby lads to pick them up uh, <laughs> uh, and stand them up. And we, they had to be carried over there in, 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 on a digger. Uh, and that's how heavy they are, they weigh an absolute ton. Uh, but apart from that, we've also so we've we've t done some work to the pitch. That's still growing through, uh, but it was very undulated, big big lumps and lumps, and we've tried to smooth out as many of them as we can. Yeah. Um, still, it's going to be a work in progress for a few yeah. years, but, yeah, yeah. but but that's that's happening. Um, and we've also got a um, a, a nice sort of, it's going to be like a an outdoor bar area. We we were the only club in the NCL that didn't have a. A dedicated bar up until um, sort of midway through last season when we finally started being able to serve alcohol for one reason or another I'll not bore you with but we've, um, we've got an actual a cafe stroke bar now uh, out, outside which is where you know the the hot and cold food will be available your beer your cider yeah, prosecco for the ladies just seeing that yeah it'll all be it's, still, be it's, a, it's a work in progress that yeah, is yeah massive work in progress so, we've not got any home games for a couple of weeks um, you know, we, we, the, the first couple of weeks worth of games um, in the season are going to be away from home. To and is that special dispensation from the uh, league uh, to, think, to allow 
the ground improvements? Uh, yeah, I, I think to call it a special dispensation is probably too much. It's just you know a, a reasonable request. We asked, yeah. can we play from yeah, home, away from home? They've said, yeah, yeah there's no, no problem with that. Um, and if, if, if we did find that everything wasn't ready, we could probably you know, re try and reach out to any clubs that we were due to, to host and see if we could we could swap the fixtures. That's one of the things that you can do at this level. Nothing's set in stone. Everybody realises and accepts that everything's run by volunteers. Sometimes people aren't available, pitches aren't available. So th there's that nice sort of flexibility to everything. But yeah, we, we're hoping that the, the improvements that we've made um, will be ready to go come our first home game and uh, and everybody's going to be really, really happy with them. Lee, a bit of history about... Uh, Maltby Main as they call now, but years yeah. ago they were Maltby Miners, weren't they? Yeah, they were. Maltby Miners Welfare. Maltby Miners Welfare, like like most pits and collieries, they all had uh, they all had a football team, and that's pretty much how it all started. Yeah. Our, our pit against your pit, <laughs> yeah, way, way back in the day. Yeah, uh, and then I, I should imagine that their base were a bit on Muglet Lane. That's why. Yeah, the it's old called stude. Muglet Lane because. Actually, this ground is on Outgang Lane. Isn't yeah, the, it? the the the, the, ent the, ent yeah. the entrance, I should An say, exit is on is on Outgang Lane. Yeah. yeah. So but I'm guessing times gone by, you'd walk from um, from the, the the old Stute, the old Miners Institute, yeah. across road up Muglet Lane, and and onto the field that way. So we've just touched on that bit of history about Maltby and its uh, and its humble beginnings mm -hmm. uh, of being a a miners. Club, but yeah. now it's altered its name of obviously to Maltby Main. Yeah. So, what are the plans now for this for the future of this club? Um, what does the club? Uh, what does it really need to achieve apart from getting the, the Premiership? Yeah, I mean the, the the on the pitch success is obviously important. Everybody loves football. That's why we do it. We volunteer because we enjoy you know watch, watching football and being part of a football club. That's that's what it's ultimately all about. But beyond that, the the club um, and probably all, all the user groups that that use this Muglet Lane facility, the cricket team, the rugby lads, everybody wants to represent the community better. This 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 facility sat in the middle of. A huge housing estate, as you can see, if you if you just look around, there's thousands of people within two or three minute walk here, and not many people really come down and watch. Yeah, Maltby watch. is a massive. Is Maltby town? It's it's, it's huge. It's huge, huge. Um, uh, and it doesn't. From, from when I come on on the, more, the well, the odd occasional Saturdays, there's not that many people here. I mean, hundred and fifty. No. Max. Yeah, 150 would have been a pretty decent crowd over the last, over the last yeah. few years. So what, what, what we're looking to do is we're looking to reconnect with the community, get the kids involved, get the families down. Um, there's been thousands of uh, free season tickets for every school kid in, in Maltby. They've gone out to all the schools, so they've been handed out and uh, their parents will get in half price if they bring the kid with their season ticket, things like that. We're um, For the first time in as, as many years as I can remember, maybe even ever, um, we've actually got uh, multiple sides, so we're actually bringing through two development squads. We've got under-18s and under-21s, and also for the first time this coming season, a ladies team. Uh, we're just looking to, to 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 just bring everybody together, bring the the whole Maltby community together, and to be proud of it, of its football club. Because you know the football club does belong to the community. There's no ultimate owner of the club. There's nobody takes any money out. Nobody 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 takes a wage. It's it's all there for the community, and we want the community to come down and 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 support it as much as as much as possible. Yeah, you have got a new chairman. Yeah, did new, he come in last season? He came in towards the back end of last season. I think he's basically been in the role about six months. Yeah, but I will say, in, in that six months, he's probably done more um, and, and and raised the profile of the club more than I, I've ever known it since I've been following it. So, so really, his mission statement really is to, for. To see the club do a lot better than it's uh, absolutely. He, he it wants to see. Be. He wants to see Maltby as a whole do a lot better. But he, because he, he's, he a, he's a Maltby, I believe he's a Maltby chap. He and the sponsorship for this year, for the shirt sponsors, bring me the horizon. Bring me the horizon. Yeah, um, uh, a lot of people. Some people won't know him. Some people will, will know the name instantly. Massive, massive, massive band. Huge so, band. Yeah. Well, thank you, Lee. Thank you for inviting me. Later. Thank you for giving me a little background uh, and hopefully the club go on to success and get in the premiership.
that's the plan. Hopefully we'll see some of your viewers down and um, come and have a beer with us. Come and watch a game. Yeah, I hope so. I think from Australia and New Zealand, it's a long way to come. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they are expats, so who knows? Uh, we've we've got people returned. wanting these new these new um, bring with the horizon shirts from Indonesia and all over the place. So. I've seen that they're getting popular in Japan as well. It's 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 insane. We can't wait. We can't right. wait okay. for it all to get going. Well, once again, Lee, thanks very much. Pleasure. So there you have it then. A uh, little insight on uh, Maltby Main uh, and what what it uh, probably holds for the future and hope it goes on to success uh, and as Lee's just been saying it's uh, it's a community it's a community club and it needs uh, local community support so get yourselves down here on a Saturday afternoon pay your four pound for people like me senior citizen uh, and kiddies kids are free with a paying adult six quid up the main kids are free it don't get no better than that does it uh, and I think I believe it's uh, under the age of 60 it's six pound entry so thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed this then people who don't know about Mulby of course uh, and it's uh, and it's football team I'll see you on the next end. Thank you very, very much. I'll see thee. And I'll see thee and all. And Lee will see thee. And I'm sure all the players, staff at Maltby will see thee. <laughs>